welcome to another studio vlog. I'm wearing a jumper. It's cold. Yay! I just had some lunch. I'm watching some other people's vlogs because it's already the afternoon. I just had some lunch. Did I already say that? Later on I want to paint my nails and this is relevant because I want to take some pictures of stickers that I made so that I can start maybe putting them in my shop. I'm not sure. I think there's probably a lot to think about, but I need to like get this done as a first step. I find stuff like that really challenging, like, you know, arranging things and making it look all pretty. That's not really my forte, but I really want to try because, you know, I want to do the things that I do justice. And then later on I am meeting up with two of my friends and we're going skating and having dinner in the park. Yay. I just remembered. I got this package in the mail and I thought, I think I, I, I think I know what it is. I mean, I ordered it, so that makes sense. Um, I thought it'd be fun to unpack it. What's this, you ask? Well. It's 50 blank beer coasters. I'm going to have so much fun with these. I think later on in the vlog, we're gonna, we're gonna do some beer coasters. That seems like a good idea. stop being waiting for your nail polish to dry so you don't ruin it when you pick something up and when does it start being procrastinating asking for a friend So I think I've succeeded on the nail polishing and the taking pictures of the stickers and I made some notes about the different papers that I tried and what I think about them and it's becoming quite clear to me which ones I like and which I want to reorder and which ones are just not really worth it. Doing this really makes me think of this difference between perfectionism and letting your perfectionist inner self <laughs> be in the driving seat and half-assing things and I'm like I've always been a perfectionist but from the point of view of like not doing anything like having everything so built up in my head that I can then not do anything because it could never be perfect so for a lot of my life I didn't do any of the things that I would have like an inkling oh I want to write a story oh I want to draw this whatever when I was a child and I wouldn't do it because it would just feel too painful, too difficult, couldn't get it perfect, wouldn't be as good as whoever else could do it. And then in my 20s I discovered the joy of half-assing things and um, you know done is better than perfect and it works you know like you get so much more done if you let go of perfection and you just go like okay just good enough is good enough. I really really value that attitude, I value being able to do that and it's brought me a lot further as a person and as someone who does things and wants to achieve things. But then you can get stuck in perfectionism and not do anything, like that's the worst thing on that side. But then there's also the thing on the other side where, sure, you get yourself to do things by half-assing things and great, you're getting things done. But then when is it time to like, do that a bit less and you're like okay I know how to get things done now but I want to actually be doing things a bit better now and then not 
immediately go back to the complete other side where you don't get anything done. So that's something I'm trying to navigate at the moment because on the one hand I really want to you know get things done I want to get these stickers out there I want to put them on my website stuff like that but I also want to take nice pictures of them and I think the pictures I took today they're like preliminary pictures I don't think they'll be the final pictures I want to do something a bit more involved with like nice backgrounds and maybe some props but I have to think about what that's going to be but then I don't want that wish for it to be perfect to become the obstacle that I then never do it but I also don't want to kind of put myself and my work down by doing it too half-assed I don't know the key apart from balance balance is obviously key but the key is also to just keep doing things I feel like that's kind of what I've been doing with these vlogs with the editing um, where I kind of feel like okay I can see it in my head being all perfect and so well produced and well edited but if I try to do that, I'll just never do it. I just do what I can right now, and then hopefully I'll learn and I'll get better at it and stuff gets easier and then I can add a little bit more to my plate as time goes on. And then at a certain point, I'll be doing what I used to think of as perfect, but I'll be doing it kind of, I'll have got there in a more natural way. Maybe you can relate. <laughs> like the, the joys of being a perfectionist and also being like a lazy half-ass. I don't know, I don't know this luckily it happened after I took the pictures <laughs> are so representative of my personality it's like grumpy cat and super cute cat i am a bit bleary eyed today this morning as you can tell from the croaky morning voice last night was fun i met up with a couple of friends we went skating we had takeaway we had some wine it was really nice social contact yo not really getting enough of that today is saturday and I'm going to have more social contact today. I woke up to so many nice messages after I posted my stickers on Instagram yesterday. Um, it was really nice. Like, you know, when you're doing stuff like this, there's a voice that goes like, nobody's gonna be interested. Like, nobody is waiting for stickers from Iris. But there's loads of people who do really like them. So that's, you know, that's really nice. Just makes me feel more motivated to kind of keep going. There were some people who mentioned pins and magnets and I'm like, yes, I've already been thinking about that and I'm so excited, but I have to kind of like do it one step at a time. such a stupid way. It is Monday. I took the kids to school. I went for a flu jab doing my duties. Yeah, this weekend I've just been kind of obsessed reading this new book that I got like a, on a whim on the way back from the supermarket. I was like, oh yeah, I'll go into the bookshop and I'll buy myself a book by an author that I accidentally discovered and then really liked the previous book and now I'm reading another book and I've almost finished it. I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of art on a coaster and I'll pop a bit of footage in here like a bit of flavor inspirational footage uh, but I'm also going to be filming it 
and doing some talking to the camera I think so that I can have that as a separate video for you on YouTube so you can, I don't know, follow along, get inspired and do it too. So I hope you'll like that and yeah, let's, let's do that. Just as a bit of backstory, this is the one that I made before, which is on a real beer coaster. I got this when we were on holiday in Germany and I painted this. There is some footage in a previous vlog, the one about um, the art supplies that I take on holiday. I then, when I was back home, I put tar, clear tar gel on top and it looks really cool. I'm really pleased with this one. Not actually having access to lots of beer coasters, I just decided to buy some on Amazon. They're a bit thinner than official beer coasters. They're about the same size. Yeah, they're the same size. They're a bit thinner, um, but I do think that they're made of slightly better material. And action! So it's a switch it on. I don't know how to switch it on. Oh, yeah. Open sesame. No, well, kind of. Ooh, look. Wow. <laughs> it's made by it's like one of... Yeah, I was just gonna say, it's like an expensive new car. <laughs> Thank you. 